earlier on the simple help offering that we are providing to our existing customers and to any new customers. And I wanted to take this opportunity and show you how this solution can not only make your life easier, but also for your end users as well. I'm going to touch very lightly on integration today, but not to worry. We are following up this webinar with another one that will go into specific details as far as how to integrate Case with Simple Help, and then dig deeper into all the features and functionality. But for today's purposes, I'm going to provide you two different use case examples how technicians can initiate a support session, and then how your end users can request support as well. In my first example, Simple Help has sent an email to my service desk because of an alert I pre configured. I have told it to notify me should any of my devices experience high CPU. A couple things I wanted to point out. As you can see, Simple Help is set as the submitter of the ticket. It shows me the ticket was generated via email. It automatically attaches a device to the ticket, which is really important since you want to be able to maintain ticket history against all your devices. It sets the priority as high. Category was set to monitoring alert. And then it provides me the details about the alert. It lets me know that the CPU usage was at 9% or greater than whatever threshold I have set. Now let's say that I wanted to do some troubleshooting and remote into the device from here. I could just simply select the simple help from the drop down. It will open the technician console for me. And as you can see, I'm remoted into this machine. Simple help has a really cool feature where I can go into diagnostics mode, gather real time stats and information about this device. Shows me the CPU usage, memory usage. From here, I can go into the Apps tab. Shows me what applications are consuming the majority of the CPU, and I can sort by percentage. I can highlight any of these processes and terminate them. I can also go into Services, highlight any service, start that service, stop that service, or I can even remove it from here. In the next example, I'm going to show you how this can enable your end users. As you can see, I'm logged into the case end user portal. There is a message, do you need remote assistance? And it says if I do, I need to just click on this URL. I can download remote support. You can customize this, this disclaimer if need be. Hit continue. And then from within the simple help technician console, I do receive an alert. I can highlight this request, find out who submitted it, what the reason is, and if I wanted to, I can connect to her machine directly from here.